Breaking news tonight out of Oklahoma City as a crazed gunman appears to be holding a dog hostage. As you can see from the photo we have received exclusively, this is a white male holding an assault weapon and an assault automatic gun uh, about to kill a dog. We don't know anything about this story as of now, have received zero details about the case. Uh, have no idea the conclusion of this horrific scene uh, as we have no video footage whatsoever. So this is the point at which I, as a responsible journalist, can do only what I know to do, give you my presumptuous analysis. So let's take a look at this photo. Uh, here's what we see. A white male, safe to assume a conservative gun owner, murdering a dog, uh, a service dog. So most of you probably are not surprised to see a white man terrorizing a vulnerable dog, uh, a man in that infamous red hat cheering him on. It seems like this has become the norm over the last two years. We have sadly gotten used to this hybrid of, of toxic masculinity and white supremacy. So it looks like we've actually received more, uh, more of this picture now. Uh, it looks like the dog actually belongs to a woman, a, a woman of color. And um, this is Trump's America, ladies and gentlemen, where white terrorists are having a field day, living above the law, doing exactly what they do best, inflicting violence allowed them by the patriarchal system that is the United States of America, headed up, headed up by, by a racist in chief. And you just gotta ask yourself, what is this gonna end? So we have more details. We actually have a different angle of the photo now, and we are we we are seeing. It's not exactly what we thought. The the man in the photo is a part of an advertisement. Uh, this the service dog seems to belong to the veteran who is coming home, uh, greeting his daughter. The woman. Um, is apparently his wife, but here's what's important. Th this red hat seemingly jeering at this reunion, angry at the happiness of this family. It's typical. There's nothing else to say. It's typical. And we actually have a second angle coming in, giving us a little bit more of the story. And we, this is a baseball game where a soldier is reuniting with his family and the man wearing the red hat is a player. He's, he's a baseball, he's a baseball player. Here's the thing, here's the question we should still be asking ourselves. I mean, does this really change anything? Does it? I think the answer is no. I mean, sure, the story was it factually right, but it was morally right. White men do terrorize the marginalized. They do use gun violence to destroy the weak. That's just a fact. So the point still stands. White men are bad. They do bad things. So I stick by our original reporting that truly got to the heart of the issue that is weighing our country down in the age of Trump. And that, that is why we truth tellers are so important to freedom and democracy in America. Without us, where would you be?